In Nairobi city, one of the most common form of air pollution is emission of toxic carbon gases from vehicles and industries. Some innovators say electric vehicles are the solution to air pollution in the transport sector in Nairobi and other cities. This car here is 100% electric in terms of its functioning according to its manufacturers. And we take the customer chassis, then we import the motor, batteries, control units uh, from high quality brands uh, internationally. Uh, and then we do the manufacturing, the rest of the manufacturing and assembly here. Uh, yeah, and we're looking into going more local. I mean, one of our most important goals is the local capacity building here, employing Kenyans and also having them to learn about the electric vehicles and maybe propelling their own businesses in the future. Scientists say the quality of air we breathe might in future determine Kenya's labor force, agriculture and other human activities. So this electrical vehicle behind me is not only environmental friendly but also cost efficient. Uh, with an electric motor you have instant torque compared to a previous, the previous diesel engine, meaning that you get a much powerful car. Uh, it has the same or actually even more power than the previous motor as well. So you get a better drivetrain that you had than you had before. Some of the other benefits as well, you also get a silent vehicle. Uh, you have no emissions, no air pollution. I mean, you've been to Nairobi in the traffic jam. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy. Uh, that's the benefit as well. You have less maintenance. But what are some of the unique features about this electric car? We retain the old uh, chassis and the, the, the functionality of the car. So we have the same suspensions, the four-wheel drive is kept and everything. Uh, you just switch the drivetrain, so you prolong the, the lifespan of the vehicle and you become completely sustainable. This is the charging port. We sought to find out how long the charge lasts once the vehicle hits the road. Use your regular single fi phase output and charge for that one overnight. Uh, or you can have a fast charger and then it takes around one hour to charge the car if you're having a fast charger system. Like this one behind me, it has a 30 kilowatt system. Uh, if you drive it on a rough road, let's say in Mara in the mud, maybe like 70 kilometers, but in good conditions on tarmac, up to 140, 150 maybe. Uh, so kilometers, yes. As Kenya joins other countries across the globe, striving to improve the lives of billions of people across the world by cleaning up the air, land and water, innovators are of the opinion that such inventions needs to be embraced by governments. So the past year and a half we've been uh, having a lot of discussions and talks with, with both Kebson and TSA about how to homologate one of our conversions because the registration is changing from diesel to electric. So that is an ongoing process that has been taking time, but we're, look, we're very positive about this the upcoming months, and I'm very certain that it will go through uh, and we'll have a, a proper procedure to license these ones for road use. The manufacturers have so far sold a similar electrical vehicle to Lewa Conservancy, with conservationists enjoying the silence that comes with the vehicle. Solutions drafted from this year's United Nations Environmental Assembly are hoped will help address this serious threat that is facing the mother nature. Safi Gudanamam Switch TV at the United Nations offices in Nairobi.